everybody and welcome to Fresh Trends. As some are saying, Senzo's ancestors are working over time. Others on the other hand are saying it has always been said that he was a drug addict. Addiction, any kind, doesn't end well. No matter how much you think you've got it under control, it always ends bad. So there's been pictures, these pictures right here, that have been trending on Twitter saying that Longo Twala was spotted in the streets and he really doesn't really look good. I don't know when the pictures were taken, but it was reported, I think, a week or last week to say that Longwe is said to have returned home after months on the streets. He left home in four ways right before Christmas last year. According to a source, Longo was no longer staying with his father since he said that his father was controlling. He said that he had been to rehab more than a dozen times and found that the rehab is not like his father's home, which is like jail. Another source says that his dad tried everything that he can and he even got to a point where he has given up on his son whose addiction has now escalated. He is not even ashamed to talk about it. He has tried everything in his power to help Longwe, but he can't compete with his addiction. Longwe now stays with his mother and Chico and Longwe's mother, they are said to have divorced. But others, as you know, they are connecting this issue to Senzo Meiwa and others went on to say, you think the ancestors of Senzo are on vacation? They are busy working over time. Where others are saying that this is not Longwe the person that is in the picture, but why do you guys take some random and clear photos and claim that it's someone? Those photos are not clear. This could be anyone. How is this Longwe? We all know about Longwe and his well-documented struggle with substance abuse. Are we laughing at him? Is this our attitude towards everyone who has this problem? We need to draw the line somewhere. Some things are not to be made fun of. As young people, we should be using social media to find solutions to those problems that you, our country, not making fun of each other and laugh because today it's me, tomorrow it's you. We need to cleanse social media of its toxicity and use it to build each other, not break each other down. Which is really true because today it can be me and tomorrow it can be you. And sometimes on social media, if you do not have anything to say, I think it's best for you to just stay away from commenting. And I saw this other comment, I just cannot find it, when this lady said it's something like take him to court and offer to give him drugs and he'll be able to confess who killed Senzo. I really found that to be very heartless because you're using somebody because of the condition that they are going through. In his state, he can say anything and even if something is not true, those kind of comments, I really don't think the person, they really thought about it before they tweeted. A lesson learned from this, don't laugh at someone else's situation. Laughing at someone else's situation is not only disrespectful but also unkind. It is important to remember that each person's circumstances, struggles and challenges are unique to them. Imagine how it would feel if you were in their situation. This will help you develop empathy towards their struggles. Show respect to others regardless of their circumstances. Everyone deserves to be treated with dignity and respect regardless of their situation or the challenges they face. Take a moment to reflect on your own behavior and consider how your actions might impact others. Ask yourself if your words or laughter could potentially hurt someone. Being aware of your own behavior allows you to make conscious choices to be more considerate and understanding. Remember, laughing should always be a source of joy and positivity, not a means to belittle or mock others. Developing a compassionate attitude towards others will only make you a better person but also contribute to building a more inclusive and supportive community. This is what I think we can all learn from this situation because laughing at him today, tomorrow it can be you and I don't think you'd want to be treated that way. But anyway, that's all that we have for now. Until the next time, please do not forget to comment, like, share and subscribe to our channel.